Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> so, I wonder what he said. So, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Oh. <laughs> it's a little bit of both, isn't it? Let's, let's, let's be positive, I guess. Rising, for sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Max's stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. <laughs> but does he think I'm cooler than Gabe? I'd say you have a shot. <laughs> Gabe plays dirty, though. <laughs> yes. Like, he secretly teaches Ethan to swear. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. I think I may, might be imprinting too much of my own personality onto Alex, but you know, I like to try to answer what I think is right uh, for the character. Well, show him my personality as well. That's what these games are all about. Well, it's all about playing the way you want to as well. And that's the way I want to play. Oh. Looks like we got a so few I'm people to talk to. Short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Oh, uh, let's, let's be honest. Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now. And we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Okay. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Okay. My dad was in the service. Uh, let's stare at them first. Table. Yeah, good. This is what every good server should do. Just stare at the customers first. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am <laughs> Reginald McAllister, the third. He looks like a Reginald. Ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I like the lighting on the hair. I realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes, 
Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Hmm. I would say bizarre. I've been here one day, and I've already hit my hug quota for the year. <laughs> She's funny. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. Oh. My dad was in the service. Behind that mountain man beard, Jed's so obviously a sweet guy. Oh. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with dad. He's come a long way. Do I have to hold it? Do I have to hold the button down for a while? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, Silver Dragon, first person to finish the lyrics hits 10% off their next Silver Dragon purchase. Lost Dog? Oh. Brian seems like a sweet guy. Golden Retriever has run away. She's very sweet. Please let me know if you see her. So sorry, I'll keep an eye out. Hope she gets home safe. Ryan says, let me know beforehand if you want to look for her in the woods, okay? I can help. Hector says, okay, I will. That's Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. Uh, If you're not 21 yet, this post isn't for you. Aaron James says, fuck if I know. Gabe says, and each day it grows more and more. Babe, we've talked about this. Boyfriends are not allowed to participate in giveaways. You know, I can't resist the temptations. Okay, new lyric to finish. Don't hesitate because the world seems cold. Stay young at heart because you're never, never old. Earth, wind, and fire. You got to just show me this post next time you swing by. That was it, right? Yeah. Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Oh, God. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> I choked! I think it was cheeseburger with mushrooms. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh. And? Uh, pie with special fries. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. So I do have to remember. I don't see it. I do have to remember stuff. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me. But feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh. If you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Oh, blue, eh? Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Typhon's not a bad company once you get used to how they operate. Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Starting over from scratch like this? this? Huh? Fucking terrifying is what it is. Yeah, I You're guess. telling me. The way they do things is just so... My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. <laughs> he even springs the surrounding wilderness. For rattlesnake bites, see Ryan uh, Lucan. Is it Lucan? Lucan, yeah. For rattlesnake shots, see Jed Lucan. 
Uh, backcountry skiing by permit only. Trail maps available at the ranger station. I don't know. <laughs> only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. Fishing and big game hunting. 2019 Haven Springs quick guide. So it's just licensing fees for different things. That looks radioactive. That's the girl from the record store. Steph. Hello, Steph. You're awesome. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh, no. I'm good. Thanks, though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. Well, technically we're working. So are you, um, here with somebody? Or? That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. Doesn't want people talking about it. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Um... Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no. It's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Sure. Live action role play, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? I yep. knew what that was, he everybody. Was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Hell yeah. Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Uh... Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? <laughs> We're just going to get loaded on the first. I'm so bad at guessing songs. You're on. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Uh... uh oh <laughs> what the fuck the fuckadelics fusky and wags there's a million socks uh let's go with cover art questions Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no, no animals. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? Personal questions? Oh, let's, let's, hold on, we gotta win. Song title. 
curse words. So does the song title have a curse word in it? <laughs> a curse word? Would that offend you? Answer the question. <laughs> no curse words in the title, ma'am. So it's not unfuck yourself. <laughs> Good. Eliminated. Okay. Uh, band name. Person's name? Does the band name have a person's name in it? Nope. Okay. Is, You've got two questions left. Is Doc Scruffin someone's name? <laughs> it's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. We got Tommy. I was saying Boo Earns. This could be it. Are there people on the cover? No. Okay, so it can't be this one. Yeah, no. Last question. Yeah, all right, nope. I know. Nope. Maybe. Uh, okay, it could be that one, right? Is that a per- no? I guess it's an animal. Song missing. So, oh, that's- are those people? So it's between this one? We're doing a really great job, by the way. And those three? Personal question. Why do you like this song? So, I guess we're breaking the yes or no questions only rule. Can you handle it? So, why do I like this song? The lyrics crack me up. Even the title's pretty goofy. Reminds me of fun times, I guess. Okay, it could goofy be- title, you say? Hmm. That's your five. Ready to guess? It could be- Yeah. Let me look through one last time. It could be the Fusky Here's and Wags. The band name doesn't have a person's name in it. Could be this no one. curse words in the song title. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. The title's kind of goofy. That's not goofy. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Kiss up and shut me. I think I'm gonna go Fusky and Wags, Mildred Cross, and the Watermelon Floss Brigade. Is it that one? No, it's not. Oh! Sorry. All right. Glitter drank me. It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> like we're just, we're supposed to be working. We're just doing shots. <laughs> That's actually something you do at bars, right? How was it? Oh my God. <laughs> That's like corn syrup mixed with paint chips. I don't know. <laughs> hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. That was super fun, though. I should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Ballot I got written up for leaving my phone. Seeking worthy competition for the jukebox game, the Chens continue to prove no Guess match. I'm gonna have to step up my game. Hey now, Ryan says. Oh, shots fired. Apparently, somehow during that, when we were just walking over here, we managed to reply it was my first game. Hey, if you want to keep going, there's plenty more bedazzled kiwi schnapps waiting for you. I had no idea people were drinking that. Should I buy more? No. On on, it wasn't even on me. Town of Haven Springs Council vote notice. An official council meeting will be held on May 26th to decide one measure. This measure proposes selling property of no more than 20 acres to Typhon Mining for use in an open pit mine. With the sale, profit, and subsequent property taxes will be added to the overall budget of Haven Springs to be divided and spent through standard procedure. More information. I my locker when I was on duty. Yeah, Starting over from scratch with okay. this? 
to secure fucking terror. So I'm not getting any players. any new info. I'm sure. Oh, is that really Ryan? Look at Family Spring 2000. But it's not like the CIA or whatever. We blow the tops off mountains. How did I do? Ducky? Jed thinks you took your whiskey up to Gabe's yesterday. Do you know where you might have left it? I remember absolutely nothing of the night. <laughs> really? Maybe check your phone. Did you take any pictures? Call anyone? Have a look. Wow, trusting. For goodness sake. How do I access the photos on this thing? 26,000? <laughs> 309 messes? Nice. <laughs> There's a bear? Is he getting attacked by a bear? Poor ducky. I shouldn't be reading this. We're reading it. It has not been easy being your daughter. You cannot simply say you are lonely and expect that I will forget my first 20 years. Well, think about your request. The kids are all doing well. I have shown them a picture of you, Abel McAllister. Sorry, nothing useful. Well, thanks for letting me know. My dad was in the service. Someone made a course about my life. Radical acceptance. Finding gratitude in the midst of chaos. The course beginning 4-6 Mondays at 7.30 Treasures of Tibet. Still want to hit the trails later this week? You kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. I have a few favorites we can start with, and then we'll go from there. Hiker bad. from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky. On Gabe's couch with the bottle. Ah, okay, we found it. I thought we saw that when we were looking around. Guess these were for mining. Van Nostrand blasting caps. Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Here, Jack Henry shot at William Porter over four aces and paid with his life, 1883. Rest in peace, mister. Maybe I'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. P all these traveling circus. Wild beast acrobats feats of strength. It's another cute black kitty. Unusually personable staff. Nicely done, big bro. <laughs> Menu of standard pub fare, serviceably prepared with occasional standout specials. It's elevated by unusually personable staff, exceptional service, and quirky patrons, creating a uniquely uplifting experience well worth the drive into remote Haven Springs, Colorado. 2017. Is there anything this woman can't do? A Coloradan canvas. When I met Charlotte Harmon in her home studio last month, both her and her coffee mug were covered in paint. Yes, I'm cliche, she beamed, as she led me towards her latest creation, a gorgeous portrait of local businesses, of local business owner Eleanor Leth. Part oil painting, part lacquer bouquet. Very few surfaces in our house are free of paint. I'm okay with that, she continued. You're probably familiar with Miss Harmon's work, thanks to her commission from the town council to decorate the walking path off Main Street. The massive outdoor mural, fittingly titled Haven Springs, captures our small slice of earth nestled in the Colorado mountains. It was such a wonderful experience, Ms. Harmon recalled. Everyone supported me during the process and Jed basically fed my family for months, which was great because the Lantern makes the best burger in town. You can print that. Now Ms. Harmon is looking to deepen her connection to Haven Springs and start a small business. No easy task for a working artist. There was a, let me see there was like a police officer. You know what, let me go get that that drink and we'll talk to the last person I think that was a hint a possible hint on how to get the alcohol all right let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here oh 
I think I see it there. No. Nope. It's on the couch, right? Oh. Uh... If Ducky fell asleep here last night, maybe the bottle's nearby. In the cushions. Ha! Mockery Hill, straight rye whiskey, small batch, hundred proof. We might have gotten him the wrong burger, but we got him his drink. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? What a relief. Many thanks, Alex. Hmm. Well... It's my first day working here, so put in a good word for me, okay? <laughs> She's a go-getter. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. How drunk are Miss we getting? Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. He loves it. <laughs> Wait, was that a journal entry? Oh no, that's, I guess that just means that it's it's saving. My dad was in the service. I like that they're having conversations. That's pretty cool. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. <laughs> what is that? It's like duct tape. First aid kit is it looks like a wallet, duct tape, and a flashlight. <laughs> Wallets are really good for treating wounds, though. Let's not joke about that. But there's someone in the back. Oh. Shit. Now Max scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Should we go talk to him? Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. A tag board used in Teller Mine around 1880. Each miner removed his check tag as he entered the mine and replaced it on the board when he had safely exited. Haven seems pretty proud of its mining history. Oh yeah, cleaning up the bottles. I'm just gonna stare at you. Idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her, and it's all your fault. At least he's right about something. Let's, let's talk wow. to him. I messed Mac up pretty good. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to us. What do you think? More arcade games? Arkanoid. I, this is a, that's a real game, right? I think I played Arkanoid back in the day. As G A B. Ass and Gabe. That's gotta be Gabe, right? Who's ass? Let me see if I played this before. Left to right, fire. Oh, this game! Yeah, I played a lot of this game. This is this is one that had like the rolling thing, and it's uh, it's like. It's kind of like Pong, where you have to bounce the ball back, and some of the squares are dropped like power-ups that you could use. To, and you had to destroy a bunch of squares at the top, basically. I played a lot of that game. But I'm not going to play now. And that's pole position. They're calling it Turbo Kart, probably because of uh, licensing or something. But that, that game is, looks like pole position. Jed asked me to clear that off. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Mm. That is bullshit. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> uh, 
Uh. Easy answer. You really are a piece of shit. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the oh guy. My oh my god. You? About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay. Um not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? What? This is the easy, easy one. This is fucking complete bullshit. And this guy's a piece of, piece of garbage. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. There's no way we could have Alex Max Jen? back on uh, that. Assaulting Mac loud on your first day here. Oh, that's... Mm. I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Oh, God. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, Why do you joke about that? <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before <laughs> you definitely got me <laughs> what is this place for being a good sport can i buy you a drink <laughs> um maybe we already had I'm two drinks right now. well i'll be at the bar you want one you just come by okay for her size i don't think she should be doubting like three shots in 20 minutes <laughs> if i did that i would be all over the place and i'm i'm not her size 19 lives Jed is oh, really this is what they were talking about. Service above self, presented with gratitude to Jed Lucan for unflagging courage and outstanding devotion to duty and saving the 19 lives of his team. Rotary Club of Haven Springs, Colorado, 2008. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Only two spots left in bread baking competition. There are only two spots remaining in the bread baking competition for this year's spring festival. This year's theme is seeds and nuts. What was last year's theme? <laughs> Testicles and scrotums. Interested uh, participants should call Isabel ASAP at 555-9002. The grand prize winner last year was Peter Goers. 
with a garlic asiago loaf. Typhoon Mining sponsors raffle for Caribbean Cruise. They're sponsoring everything in this town. Spring Festival will have another raffle this year, and the big prize is a seven-day cruise in the Caribbean. Airfare is included. Wait, what? When is this taking place again? I don't think you want to be going on a, a cruise uh, at this time. <laughs> this is right before the pandemic starts. Uh, airfare is included. The prize is donated by Typhon Mining. Raffle proceeds benefit the Haven Springs Firehouse and the Haven Springs Historical Preservation Society. Tickets can be purchased ahead of time at a town hall or at the festival. I guess that's probably why they decided to go with this year, right? I'm just gonna do turn. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. Indeed, indeed. How mysterious. Amelia Rosam Goldstein. Gold, I never know if it's Goldstein or Goldstein. On this site, Amelia Goldstein operated a bed and breakfast for nine years. Known for its beautiful rooftop garden, she died at the age of 32 of influenza. Though married shortly before her death, the identity of her husband remains a mystery. Huh. Interesting. That, that plaque seems a little, like... That's that one's See, got me must be um, interested the most. This is really cool. That one's the biggest mystery, I'd say. There you have it. So that's the running. All right, how we doing, Jed? Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Uh, I think so, right? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Wow. Well, speak of the devil. That's amazing. <laughs> How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. How'd I do? You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. Hey! You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Did I get the burger right? Thanks. Let me know in the comment we'll section tomorrow. if I got the burger right or not. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Wait. Haven has an indie movie theater. Impressive. Gross Theater, which was the best living dead movie? Night, Day, Land, Diary. Come to our Marathon to the Dead to watch them all and decide for yourself. Tickets are $15 online and 22 at the door. I'm going to go with Day. That's the one in the mall, right? I think that's the one that I enjoyed the most. Stupid debate. Dawn of the Dead was obviously the best. Or wait. Was Dawn of the Dead the one? Which one's the one in the mall? Be, have you even seen Survival of the Dead? Nope. And neither has anyone else. <laughs> Ouch. I don't think Land of the Dead gets enough credit. Let's face it, none of the sequels lived up to Night of the Living Dead. Literally, how dare you? Dear God, what have we done? I don't think Night of the Living Dead really stands up that well these days. I, I, I watched it not too long ago. I think Day of the Dead was the mall one. The mall one, anyways, is the best. Thank you. 